still ain't had enough. All right, so let's get to it. You know what actually I want to do before we get into the top six music videos? I want to show y'all something real quick. And I seen a video in there that I got to watch later. It seems like it's going to be crazy. I was, you know, doing my thing, watching some Vlad TV as I usually do. And I was stumbling upon one of the interviews that he did lately. Right? With my boy Tyson Beckford. All right? Y'all know who he is. He's, the, he's a model, polo, all types of shit. Right? I'm a gearhead. Okay? You know, um, contrary to what they think, I'm a fashion guy. I know me some shit. Even though polo was not fucking high fashion. But. So you're going to high school. You're growing up mm -hmm. uh, in the States. Super and and this TV. is actually an interesting. All right. That's the homie right there. For real, for real. Interesting part about your history that I didn't know until I started to really research it. We don't hang out or anything, but like we talk sometimes. Is yeah. you actually used to run with the shower posse. Yeah. Uh, that was my, <laughs> I was a teenager then. I didn't know no better, man. And I used to the shower posse, the nigga said, this nigga right here. Used to get school. And what the crew was doing was crazy. I mean, because if you know the history of that, it went from... This nigga... I'd like to see what this nigga's net worth is. I'm, I'm on some nosy shit. This nigga right here. Remember him? I'm trying to find a, the... The least sus picture that I could find. This nigga. From, from to some of them in Jamaica and stuff. So it's been cool, you know. Where is it? Where did we find him? <laughs> this guy. Shower posse. You know why they call them the shower posse? You're going to shower on it with bullets. You understand? This nigga. Seeing them, because now they're like, because I was a little kid of the crew, so everybody's like now like, wow, you done grew up, you done became somebody famous, you know? Meanwhile, the I watched a fucking piece on the shower posse the other day, how like, like, from what I already knew, but Jamaica, New York, Toronto, all over the motherfucker. Making money, causing havoc. Isn't the man Dudas from the Shower Posse? Right? DJ Illinois says, because they rained the spot with bullets. Boop, 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 boop. Whole spot just raining bullets. Him. Hollywood Life by Bonnie Fuller or Fuller. Right, she's doing articles on this guy. Does she know he he was part of the shower posse? <laughs> she fucking shit her pants. <laughs> Shower Posse got their own fucking Wikipedia. Holy. Christopher Coke. Nigga's last name got Coke in it. Dudas. Let's see here. Let me find a good. What does um, Wikipedia have about the Shower Posse? The Shower Posse is a Jamaican gang which is involved with drugs and arm smuggling. Its home is in Tolivi, um, Tivoli Gardens in Jamaica. 
but it primarily operates in Canada's provinces of Ontario, Quebec, British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, and the U.S. states of New York, New Jersey, Florida, and Pennsylvania. Holy, they went to us first, eh? The gang has a strong international presence among, um, what's this word here, expatriates, expatriates, my bad, um, Jamaican communities in the North, in North America. The United States, uh, a branch which founded the, by Vivian Blake, and it has a prominent role in New York City's drug trade. The gang also has a large presence in Toronto. The rest of them did a lot of time, lot of thing, you know, in terms yeah, of no, we visibility were. We were. And, and the media and so forth. Yeah. Listen, I watch Vlad all the time. So whoever he's got on the screen, I'm going to watch. But I seen he had Tyson Beckford. I'm like, let me see what this guy's story is all about. This is part two. And they got into the shower posse thing. I, listen, I was so shocked I had to post that shit on my Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Opie says there's a doc um, about this. What's it called? I don't remember exactly. Canada was the first expansion, eh? Holy. Yo, that's so crazy to me. I don't know if it's crazy to you. Like, I'm talking about y'all, the comic gang. But to me, when I... F <laughs> Head explode emoji, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and they were like, and next thing you know, I just started, you know, they needed a connection to this person or that person. And I, you know, and then that's how you just kind of get we, swept we, we up in it. But back then you didn't really, we didn't think of us as what it is known today. You know, we just thought we were just a, just a bunch of guys hanging out, making money. And then fuck out of here, bro. Yo, Tyson Beckford, you ain't low, fam. You want me to believe with the history that these motherfuckers got. I, I didn't know the magnitude of what was. Let me play it again. We're all from Jamaica and we all used to go to the same restaurant and we didn't think of us as what it is known today. You know, we cap just thought we were just a, just a bunch of guys hanging out, making money and then cap. So back in the days, you're trying to tell me that back in the days, when you were part of the shower posse, the nigga 50, so he was born in 1970. When you were part of the shower posse, it was just a bunch of guys hanging out. <laughs> DJ Illinois says man was getting the gal them for the posse. <laughs> Don't fucking kill me right now, bro. What do you say? He was the he was the wrangler. He was the one out there like using his face and using his looks like, hey, don't worry about those guys over there. You know, they're looking a little scary. They ain't gonna hurt you. Yet. You're telling me the man never busts off his thing? I'm not trying to get the man in any trouble. This is way long ago. It's way past the, the statute of limitations. You're telling me this guy right here ne never let off the thing? He was just hanging out at the bar eating patties and fucking um, um, ackee and saltfish? Hmm? Drinking a thing? Oh, y'all niggas are involved in a bunch of crazy shit? Oh, you murdered like 100 people already by the 19, 1975? <laughs> okay, if he's born in 1970, that would probably be by like maybe 85 that this nigga's down with the shower posse. Okay? Let's say 15, 16 years old. Let's give him that. So 1986. Right? 
That means them niggas is already in full swing. Probably about, and this is documented, okay? This doc, I'm only finding this shit out from documentaries. I don't know personally. I've, I've never been privy to be part of the shower posse or anything that goes on behind the scenes. All I know is from what I see in documentaries. And they said by the time the fucking, by the time they got to the 90s, these niggas been had like at least 30 bodies. But this guy right here, you know, when he was down, he just thought it was a couple of the man them hanging out, smoking some weed, fucking some things. Okay. And how the extension of it went crazy. So, you know, uh, I was able to get out of it before, like, you know, when I graduated high school, I was like, yo, uh, you know, I went back to New York City and then was on my pursuit of, you know, of celebrity stardom. And Okay, there's a little bit more jewels to it, okay? To the story, to the Tyson Beckford story. Dun, dun, dun. He graduated high school and was able to get out of the gang and went back to New York. So if you were part of the shower posse in Jamaica? You weren't even in Brooklyn where, like, they were sending the killers over to go fucking hang on a one-two thing or in Toronto. You were there in the homeland of the motherfuckers? And you never let off the thing. Yo, shut up, bro. And that's how I got out of it. You know, uh, we had somebody uh, in the group that was a snitch, and, you know, he definitely... It was it was funny when he came around. Questions, you know. It was straight. Yo, listen, Vlad, better fucking. Is part three out to this shit? Part three is probably out. Vlad better not leave the shower posse thing and go on to the polo. So how do you meet Ralph Lauren? No, 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 no. Let's stay here on the on the shower posse. <laughs> if you got me, if I'm doing the interview, you mentioned shower posse, and I didn't know that. Well, actually, Vlad bought it up, right? We're going to stay on that for about two segments. Right out of a movie. Something ain't right with this guy. Let's walk away from him, you know? And so you mean to tell me there was a snitch in the gang. And we're going to get to the top six. There was a snitch in the gang. You had an inkling of this snitch. Then the snitch snitched. Whole bunch of mans went down, but you had the wherewithal as a young adult or becoming an adult because you just finished high school to say, you know what? You a snitch. I'm going to leave the gang. Her? So gangs just have like contingency plans where you can just leave at a certain point once your, your contract term is up. Which part? What, what gang is that? Oh, you can leave. Yeah, yeah, we, we got about 10 bodies that you might, you know, know about. Maybe 20. But, oh, you want to leave? Okay, well, here's your severance pay. I'm sorry that you didn't want to continue business with us. We wish you best on your future endeavors. Huh? Was that like the old style of way that they used to do things? Like, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't privy to this. I don't know. I just don't know gangs that you could just say, you know what? Shit's getting kind of sticky right now. I'm off this. And mans are like, all right, bro. Wish you the best. Hope you become a model one day. I'm just saying. You got drafted to the modeling agency right after. <laughs> right after. Right? From shower posse to polo. 
Only in America. Anyhow, let's move on. 